Hey what's up guys and welcome to another Tradeblazer episode. I'm standing here with my Abyssal Bludgeon that I received in my last episode which is going to be an amazing weapon for the Nightmare. Though I do have some gear upgrades I really need to do, for example I need to upgrade my power amulet and all that kind of stuff. I need to get a better helmet as well, I need to get a strength helmet instead of using a Varrox helm. And maybe some better gloves as well, maybe a region bracelet or something. But before I start the video, I just want to say I do have a Discord if you want to join that. Link to that is always at the top of the description. And I do hope you guys will enjoy the episode as much as I enjoy making them. I actually ran out of dual rings, so I'm just going to craft all of these gems that I have now, which is not nearly enough for 90 crafting, but this is what I currently have. I'm going to reset the counter to zero, and we will see how much crafting experience I get from this. Just from cutting all those gems, that is half a million crafting experience, and I'm actually very close to 80 crafting, and I do have a decent amount of gold bars, so I'm going to be making some dual rings again to keep buying the gems, as well as I will be able to make a glory, enchant that, and upgrade at least from a power amulet. Before finishing the crafting grind, I completed the Holy Grail quest for a lot of prayer experience all the way to 69 from 66 and now it's time for King's Ransom. Of course I'm doing this for the Piety Prayer and this is now the King's Ransom completed, 500,000 defense experience as well and I'm going to use the experience lamp on crafting, 80,000 experience, time to get Piety. That is the training grounds completed, extremely easy for, that was like a million experience, 1.2 million or something. And now I can use the chivalry and piety, but I still need one prayer level for piety, but that will be easy to get. And after buying gems and making a lot of amulets, I am now 86 crafting, which is now to 90 with a mushroom pie boost. So I just have to go and get a mushroom pie and we can make a fury. We have everything now to make the fury, so let's get that crafting boost to 90. Let's smelt the onyx amulet U, and then we use the ball of wool on it. We have the onyx amulet, which is 250 points, and let's enchant it. And we now have the fury. Look at that upgrade. That is insane. Eight more melee strength. Well, I, I have the ghost beak amulets, of course, but in general, a super good necklace. Look at that. Now that I have the crafting level for it, I might as well also make the onyx bracelet. So I'm going to do that. I sold a lot of runes to be able to afford this a second onyx. So let's enchant that as well. And let's look at the upgrade now. Quite a big upgrade. I did have the granite gloves, but these have a bit higher strength, I think, and a bit more offensive stats, as well as it doubles my health regen. And with the four times regen, I now have eight times regen, which is just insane. Absolutely last thing we have to do before going into the nightmare is going to be this 70 prayer. I can now use piety. Is that a task? Yes it is, 100 points, and we have everything now to start the Nightmare grind. It's going to be very interesting to see how this goes. This is what I'm going to be using for the Nightmare, this inventory, as I will be getting a lot of HP back from my Relic and overall region bracelet, etc. I don't need that much food, and this is my magic setup, just a 4-way switch. Should be pretty easy to get some Nightmare kills. It actually looks kind of funny when you attack with the bludgeon because of the animation. It just looks like you're attacking once, but you can see here on my experience drops it's actually two attacks. So look at this insane damage I'm doing. The, getting the bludgeon was such a good choice. I can actually melee two of the pillar faces when there is no split thing where you can only stay in one area. But that is the first nightmare kill for some coal and that took me 12 minutes. So I did a third solo and it is very easy. Like look at my supplies. But I am actually going to decide to bring a duo that has very nice gear indeed as well. He has a bludgeon. Of course I should get that helmet as well for even more strength bonus, but yeah, this is going to be pretty exciting to see how fast this is going to be. Let's see how fast a duo is with this guy. 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, that is very fast. Up to KC number 15. What are we gonna get this time? Send few serums. Oh wait, that's actually so good. I was uh, kind of running out of them. Kill number 19 and we're gonna go for 30 more minutes as a duo. Some uncut emeralds. That is some decent crafting experience, though they're pretty easy to get from that store. Doing one more kill after this one and then he has to go. And I have some future plans after that and some adamant ore. 22 KC, so we will end on 23 for our duos. Can we get something last duo kill? I want to see that Inquisitor item on the ground. Adamantitor, unfortunately, not this time. 
I'm going to do a lot of Nightmare and I feel like getting a Torture is such a massive upgrade and I know it's a very big grind from 86 to 94 crafting to be able to then boost to 98 and make it. But I feel like it's really worth it because I was rarely getting MVP with the other guy. I got it like once in the whole run and he had a Torture and the uh, Obi Helm which I'm also going to get. So those are the two things I'm going to be working on and I'm going to get a black demon task if I can find that. That is not the Senai shard. That's uh, not the Senai shard. After 114 kills I got called if I wanted to join a 5 man so of course I'm going to take up on that offer. Unfortunately I still have to use this Varax helm with no strength bonus but uh, yeah this is going to be some pretty fast kills. Is this maybe a less than 3 minute kill? In case it is, I do get a task. Let's see how fast that was. 256 and yeah, that is 250 points. Kill number 33, which is the drop rate of seeing an item, but that is no item. So technically not have, having seen an item at this point is kind of unlucky. But uh, yeah, of course you can't expect to see a drop always in the exact drop rate. Ended up with 39 KC and still haven't seen a drop and that is where we called it. And now I'm going back to the Demonic Gorillas and hopefully I can get that Senite. Dude, what is this? Oh, oh my god, in the same clip. <laughs> there we go, the first kill back. But uh, the more important thing in this clip. What is this? Level 95, Dragon Scimitar killing a Demonic Gorilla. With a Mithril Chain body and I think that's... Uh, that's steel plate legs or iron plate legs? I'm pretty sure... I'm not, I'm not sure who's going to win this case. Oh no! That is not good! 4.3 million crafting experience until I can actually make the Senite Necklace. AKA the Amulet of Torture. I'm thinking about just doing the same as I did before. Get a lot of tockle, buy the gems and craft them. I'm pretty sure that's the best way to do it. And look at the gems I have, by the way. oh I got some by the way from the Nightmare, but uh, look at all these I crafted and I also made them into amulets and stuff like that for even more crafting experience. Just to get 86 it was quite a struggle, but uh, I have a decent amount of money, 1.3 million. I can buy Chaos Runes and get Tuckle and get some crafting going with those uh, gems once again. Just finished spending all my 130,000 tockle. I have the goal set to 94 and this is not going to be enough. But I want to see how many percent we can get with 130,000 tockle spent on gems. So we kind of know how many more tockle we need. This is the gems I got. So let's uh, craft all of them. I cut all the gems and I also made some amulets. And that gave me roughly 50% of the way there. So I ne still need 2 million experience. And I have a way to do that, because I currently have pretty much no tockle. I have 34, and I have only 700k cash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a lot of these cut gems, and I'm going to actually make these into bars. And then I'm also going to kill a lot of gargoyles. I like the stuff that I get, and they also drop both gold and gold bars. And use those cut gems to make jewelry and get crafting experience. And all the money that I get will go to Tockle to get more uncuts. As well as I need that obsidian helmet for strength bonus which is like 70k Tockle. And I actually need to buy another Onyx to be able to make the uh, Amulet of Torture which is 260k more Tockle. So uh, I need to get a lot of money. And as I said we're doing that through gargoyles. 545 gargoyles killed and we now have just above 2.3 million cash and also a good amount of gold bars and ores so I think I'll stop right here. Got 242k tuckle with that so I will have to get some more money later but uh, let's actually make all of these into gold bars and then use these emeralds and sapphires and rubies to get some crafting experience. I did a lot of crafting grinding by buying more gems, crafting them and making gold bars and making amulets and all that stuff and I finally got to a 94 crafting and I have enough tockle to buy an uncut onyx. So we're going to do that and I have everything now for the uh, amulet of torture. So let's get it done. Time to make the senite amulet and then string it and we should get the Senite Amulet and now we have the Enchant 
to make the torture and look at that two more strength bonus five more crush five slash five stab such a good necklace and that is 250 points for that getting that done and the last thing i need to do now is just guess get the obsidian helmet which is like 70k tockle so i need basically how much do i have 6.7k so i need like 650k cash finally guys we are about to complete our nightmare set I have uh, almost 80,000 tockle and the helm costs 73,000. Let's buy it and look at these upgrades. Three more strength bonus and other than that, minus and everything. Great, right? Well, the strength bonus is actually super important. That is by far the best thing to have on the Nightmare. And uh, well, compared to a Verax helm, which I don't have equipped right now, it is pure strength bonus and that is exactly what we want. Having the Amulet of Torture as well, we are now at 114 melee strength. Actually, I probably have more because I have Karamja gloves on right now. Let's go to the bank and check my uh, total. So let's do some comparisons now. I have 120 melee strength in my max melee strength gear. And last time I did the Nightmare, I had only... Let's equip this one as well. 115, so 5 more melee strength, which is going to come in handy while doing a lot of Nightmare. Wanted to do a solo nightmare, of course, now with this gear. It is uh, going to be kind of awkward if this was a very slow kill. Now with the upgrades, we will have to see. But uh, that is going to be KC number 40 on the nightmare. No drops seen so far. And still no drops. But 11-12, yeah, that is a big increase actually from the last time I did the nightmare solo. It was around 12 minutes every single kill. And now we have it down to 11. And I can actually increase or uh, decrease that time quite a bit because I'm not uh, really maging the pillars that much meanwhile running between them so that is a way I can actually reduce the time even more. I'm going to call the item that's going to drop Inquisitor Hauberk. You guys ready? Sarah Domi Brew. Close enough. 11.28. So yeah I'm getting consistently below 12 minute kills which is very nice solo. By the way they made changes to the Nightmare. Before when you killed it it was a 40 second respawn time. Now what happens is that you have to click on the Nightmare to disturb it and then it only has a 10 second respawn time. Look at this. 10 second respawn timer. That is so nice for doing solos, especially with the Drainer Relic. You can just stay here forever. That is going to do it for this video. I do hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like. It really means a lot to me. And uh, if you want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe. Of course, you already know that, but uh, I have to say it anyways. And if you want to see more of my videos right now, you can click any of the videos on the screen right now or go into my channel and click any of the videos you want to see. Have a good one, guys. Take care. See you in the next one.